Citizens of ancient Rome, welcome to Roman Triumph, and today we were sponsored in the best way possible. This is promoting a free demo, where Roman Triumph, they just want you to try the free demo and give feedback. That's it. Plus, it's an ancient Roman city builder, perfect for all of us. And Roman Triumph is a game that I have listed multiple times before. We've been watching this development without being sponsored. But today we are sponsored because they just want you to try the free demo and give them feedback because they want to release the game early, well, first half of 2025. And they are planning on adding a bunch of stuff for release with this roadmap. You can just jump into the free demo and check it. So click the link below. Try the free demo on Steam, and thank you so much for the support, and please do go tell them what you think, because the more you tell them what you think, the better the game will be, and we could always do with a new ancient Roman city builder. Anyway, settings, just a quick overview, rebindable controls are already in, graphics are set to maximum as far as I can tell, and there's separate audio sliders for a free demo, the, the options are pretty good. We're clicking on new game. Oh, it's so bright! World Generation. So this is a mythological survival city builder. Where, so some people have been asking, what is a survival city builder? What makes it survival? And generally a survival city builder means there's survival ele gameplay elements from survival games as a basis, a hunger bar and environmental danger, right? If you can starve to death or you can freeze to death, that's a survival game. Add that to a city builder and it means your people can starve to death or freeze to death. As a general baseline, there's variations from that. Now, this world, we can randomize a seed and generate the new terrain and it gives you a new map. Like there's... actually this looks kind of nice. We're surrounded by mountains, couple mountains here, open area by the water over there. That looks kind of nice. Yeah, let's continue. Okay, there's already not just different difficulties, but different game modes. This is pretty developed for a free demo, huh? <laughs> so there's the easy and normal, right? Uh, we're not judging difficulty in a free demo, so generally we're going to stick to easy to get through and see content. Right? But there's also these alternative game modes where there's no attacks from mythological creatures or no attacks or raids entirely. So you have a number of threats in this game is you can be attacked by humans and you can be attacked by mythological creatures. You could see the Hydra on the main menu, right? So let's go for easy for now because we're not here to judge difficulty. That will likely change for release and we just want to see what there is. Name your colony. We are, of course, living in Dwellmend. Ah, here we go. So remember, click that link, try a free demo. Easy peasy. Douglas Quaid, thank you so much. To the esteemed governor, as our empire stretches its reach, I entrust you with a critical mission. Venture north and establish a settlement on the frontier. Your duty is not only to build and lead, but to protect our citizens from the dangers that lurk beyond. The wild lands are home to more than wandering barbarians. Creatures of myth and legend, like hydras and other beasts, threaten the realm. Fortify your settlement and defend against these looming threats. Lead with wisdom, strength, and vigilance. And may your rule bring safety and prosperity. Farewell, and good fortune. Build near small and large rocks and iron ores. Use terrain to your advantage and show you have fertile land near you to build farms on, indicated by the green overlay. Okay, so just quick look at the world. How far can you zoom in? You can touch the ground. <laughs> this is like the zoom level if you're playing like an ant simulator. <laughs> I did not realize you could zoom in that far. You can literally touch the ground. Just just reach out and touch the dirt in this game. Zoom out. Okay, yes, you can zoom out pretty far as well. We are also running at max graphics while I'm, while I'm streaming and recording. Um, so, so far it's it's performing pretty well. Right? For a free demo especially. So we can see the resources. Yeah, you can just touch grass. Just 
Get right in there. Okay. Hold on. It seems to have... No, no. You can just go ahead and touch the grass. Just, just touch the grass. It's right there. <laughs> Don't even need to go outside. So we have to build this thing. The Castrum, which is a settlement. I like how they put the... The Latin name, in parentheses, the English name. That's actually kind of helpful. So we want to build near large rocks. So I assume these are ore deposits. Large rocks would... Oh no, these are large rocks. That's iron ore deposit. Uh, you also want to have fertile land indicated by the green overlay, which is right. So this looks like a pretty good spot. This is fertile land. There's a whole bunch of animals running around. There's... Ore deposits, stone. Yeah, so that's not fertile, that's not fertile. So we want to be like here. So I guess I'll just place it here between the water and surrounded by these resources. You can rotate as well, but let's just stick to that. Destroy the forest, yes. So we got a bunch of resources. Camera controls, yes. That's the default. Date and time controls, speed, one, two, three, yep. Population, right up there. Citizens will come to your northern settlement at the end of every month. The number of newcomers depends on your city's attractiveness, which is affected by the population's happiness, right? Okay. Homes are up there. The number of available beds. If this is at zero, build more homes as homeless citizens will leave quickly or perish. Okay. Survival city builder. Your people can die. Happiness is composed of comfort, health, recreation, safety, culture. Good. Uh, all these resources. So there's wood, stone, clay, brick, food, gold, tools, weapons, cloth, and iron. Okay. So hovering tells you how to get it and the consumption rate and production rate. Okay. Okay. Tasks, objectives over there, good to see. And seems like we do have taxes. Do we have wages? I'm not sure. Spacebar pauses, spacebar pauses. So the basics, build housing, in parentheses, domo. Uh, so let's, let, let's judge icon design. House, how do I build a house without hovering? Can I tell what I'm supposed to click? It's a little unclear which one has a house, but I assume the person. Okay, not so bad. Domu. Costs uh, planks of wood, stone, and bricks. Very quick construction. Oh, we need to build a road first. Okay. So we need to place road. Let's just have a nice... Is there road pathfinding? How, is, how does this work? So we can click and drag. Oh, this is part of the building. I see. Does this count as a road? I'm unsure. Let's just surround all of this. Oh, I see. I've... Okay, so there is road pathfinding. It's just a little unclear what is or isn't a road around the main settlement, but let's just build up a road there. Good. And if I want to clear these accidentally placed roads, we can do that. Good. And then let's place Tomu. Would we be living near this thing? Maybe a little bit further away. Oh, hold on. If I shift click, can I place multiple? Oh, I don't have enough to place another one. I need to then get some resources. Okay, because this... Yeah. Are the roads free? I think the roads are free. Hotkey is T for the road. Okay, nice. Oh, roads do cost resources. <laughs> if I do this, do I get resources back? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Have I already screwed myself? That would be a good bit of feedback. So, industry. Um, so, we're currently out of wood. Get wood by cutting trees. Stored in stockpile. Okay, so are people already cutting trees? Or... So, we need to gather wood. Use the gathering tool to select trees. Okay, we haven't screwed ourselves. This, this has banished mechanics. Okay, so... To... Research, research tree. Oh, there's research to do as well. Okay, very good. Um, this is religion, job priorities, gather resources, wood. Gathering wood, yes. Select the trees, worker assignment. Okay, workers will be assigned to the SAS based on your configuration from the gatherings panel. Okay, gather all these trees. 
Yes, good. And we also need to gather stone. That's stone. Gathering stone. So, interestingly, the, the tutorial for gathering pops up when I select the tool rather than it by default popping up, which might confuse some people. <laughs> Might confuse some people because I'm like, have I already screwed myself with spending all this wood on road? How do I get wood? And I don't, it doesn't explain how to get wood until I click on gather wood, <laughs> right? It should probably pop this up a little bit earlier. Uh, to gather stone, select stones, uh-huh, yep. So, gather. Is this stone? That's a large stone. Oh, it requires quarry, so I need to gather small stone. So we're gathering some small stone there, okay. So we're gonna gather up wood and then we need to build a hunter's hut. So I saw there were animals around here. Like... Yeah, there's just animals running around in this forest. Look at these flowers, those are nice. Okay, we can see the texture resolution when you press your eye against the tree. That's the resolution. Obviously, that doesn't matter too much because you're going to be playing like this. And generally, I'm I'm looking for the fade in and out of grass. I can't. I don't know which engine this is running on, but yeah, there's there's the draw distance of the grass, and it fades in pretty nicely. Oh, we've gathered a bunch of wood. Good. Let's go ahead and build another dome. There we go. No refunds on demolishing. Um, so in terms of, so we've got idle workers there, housing, happiness, religion. So we do have, not research tree, um, job priorities. Wood gatherer, so in the job priorities panel, yeah, the tutorials pop up when you click on things. So right now in the demo, it's sort of promoting that you click on things and figure it out, and it'll pop up when you get there, right? If you're ready to click on it, then you're ready to learn it. Oh, there is a skip all tutorials button as well. Okay. So available workers. Yep. Changing job priorities. Okay. Simply drag and drop. List of workers. Oh, we can actually see exactly and set the maximum. Okay. Limit workers. Set the maximum of 10. So limit is currently disabled. Right. So we can actually see exactly. So how... How simulated are people? So, Potelius is age 14, has health, comfort, culture, recreation, safety, currently gathering wood, happiness 43, productivity 83%, last eaten wheat plus zero health, healthy, has a home, and is neutral. Okay. <laughs> There's a kill command. Follow. We can follow Potelius. So if a citizen is stuck, good good feature to have in a demo when you don't quite know what things are doing right now. But we can see how how simulated things are. You know, I actually like how much this tree shakes when they hit, because it makes it clear what's being worked on at a distance. And you can hear all the sounds happening. You can hear the mining happening. You can hear the trees being felled. Okay. We're building another domu. We need... We're starting to gather some stone. We need to build a hunter's hut. So that should be under food buildings. Hunter's hut. Hunting. Build a hunter's hut. Provide your settlement with meat. You need to know efficiency score. When you when placing a hunter's hut, you'll notice an efficiency score. This indicates more efficient hunting and better food production. Okay. So efficiency, 50%. Oh, it goes above 100%. There's 150%. So I want to build it there. And we can... Why can't we road here? Oh, roads don't demolish trees, I see. So if we want to road... So if I wanted to road over to here, it's got to path through the trees a little bit. Okay. 
It's not exactly clear where, which, what tree is blocking what tile, but I guess that works. Okay. Okay, okay, th this is working out. I mean, survival city builders are all inspired by Banished, and this one is feeling different enough so far. I mean, ancient Roman city builders, as I've been saying, we haven't really gotten an ancient Roman city builder outside of the end of 2024. So before the end of 2024, we haven't gotten an ancient Roman city builder for 15 years. And that sounds insane. Because there were so many in the late 2000, like in the late noughties, right? From 2006 to 2009. We got Caesar IV, Civ City Rome, Grand Ages Rome, um, Imperium Romanum, and others. <laughs> but since 2009, no ancient Roman city builders. Until 2024, where we now have a bunch coming out. Isn't that insane? 15 years. No... No ancient Roman city builder. Oh, there's a missing button up here in the demo. Um, there's pause, play, and 3x speed. But if you press the hotkeys, you can go to 2x speed. But there's no 2x speed shown up there. <laughs> yeah, and it does work mechanically. They were following trends. I mean, yeah, I mean, typically in the gaming space, they follow trends, they oversaturate, and it dies. But usually it takes like 10 years for things to be like, actually, let's make a new one. <laughs> like 15 years is a long time. Okay, so we're just building the hunter's hut here. That should be done any second now. There we go. Done. First set of objectives complete. So looking at the hunter's hut, let's look at some details here. Okay, there's a nice glow. Coming from inside. Skins. And then I assume... Okay. So, looking at the stuff here. Although Roman society is based on agriculture, the hunter hut provides a steady flow of meat. I like how the description is a little... Um... What's it? Well, in world. I forgot the word for it. Hunting efficiency depends on number of animals in the radius when the hut was placed. When the hut was placed. Current monthly production is 39 a month and we've got three people working in there. There's a demolish button and a disable button. So you can mothball buildings. You can mothball buildings. What is this? Oh, this is available workers idle. Okay, I see. Okay. That's how the hunter's hut works. Um, so we now need to build a wood archer tower, a stockpile, and a food storage. So, I ass Defenses. Wood archer tower. So it covers a range. I assume we should cover... Red area shows where enemies can't walk or traverse, useful when placing defenses. Oh, so it will protect this area. So I, I feel like we should protect our houses and settlement, right? And we can rotate. Is there an entrance to this thing? What does this thing look like? No, there's not really a front, is there? But sure. Let's place it there. We'll get that built. We also need to build a stockpile. Would that be under food buildings? Food storage is under food buildings. That makes sense. Let's build a food storage. We also need to build a stockpile. Would that be under industry? Small stockpile. Okay. So far, these buttons are intuitive enough. Services, leisure, and religion is a music symbol. Some of the symbology is a little... unorthodox. Like, houses, monuments, and decorations has the, uh, the shape of a human head. Which makes sense if you think about it, but typically you just put a, a house, right? Because this might get a little bit confused, because there's this button over here, which is job priorities, and this is... You see three heads. So just in terms of symbology and iconography and visual communication. By the way, I am qualified in visual communication and design. That's actually what I studied. <laughs> so in terms of symbology, 
I would change the head symbol to a house symbol or something along those lines. Because, not because the head doesn't make sense, but because the head is also used here. So making this look like a house symbol instead of a head symbol would distinguish the two buttons more. Right? No glasses, who is this? I got a new monitor because my last monitor was 17 inches and my eyes were straining. So I finally got a new monitor. I can push my laptop further away, but with a new 23-inch monitor. I think it's 23-inch. Um, it was just glaring in my glasses. So I got contacts. For the first time in my life, I got contacts. So I can be on a green screen <laughs> for your benefit. But also, I'm kind of liking them. I'm kind of liking them. Do I plan to come back to The Sims? Yes, yes, very much so. Okay, uh, we're building the Wood Archer Tower. We got the stockpiles down. Hunting is continuing on. So, I'm vibing with this game. Let, let's let's try and make the game isometric. <laughs> one, one request in all city builders is I want an isometric camera mode because I just... I just like the isometric style. Like, ish, sort of. If not, like, just a locked camera mode to lock at 45 degree angles would be great. Like, so it locks the camera to 45 degrees and then you can rotate to fixed 45 degrees. That would be nice as well, because I, I like those camera options. So we now need to build a clay pit, a bricks works, and four wheat farms. That should be industry, clay pit. Oh, we need way more wood. Right, we have to manually gather wood. Gather all this wood. I don't know if the trees over here matter to the hunting, but... Any other small stones to gather? Oh, there's a whole bunch right there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Go do that. Next thing you tell me, the mustache on my profile picture are fake too. It's not even a fake mustache. It's literally inked on. <laughs> I, I wanted to buy a fake mustache for that stream. Uh, but it, the earliest one could arrive was like in seven days and I was streaming in two days. So I was like, can I just use eyeliner and draw a mustache on? And the missus did it for me. And I was like, wow, it actually looks really good if you squint. Um, so as long as I'm down here in the corner, you can't tell. <laughs> uh, it's literally inked on. Okay, so what are we building? Clay pit. We can now afford it. Um, any tips on where to build it? A clay pit will mine clay, which is used to make brick. Understood. Does it need to be placed anywhere specific? Effects on residents in four cells. So there is a desirability mechanic. And it'll tell you how many workers as well. So I... Road is too far. Oh, it, it's not that... It, it doesn't have to touch the road. It just has to be near the road. I see. Can't place building here. So this works like city builders of old. Clay pit near water. I think so. Let's extend this road out a little bit. And then let's go... Weather effects! It's raining! I love weather effects. Clay pit. Oh, it shows like the, the negative desirability as well, I think. Heavy rain. Oh, this is chill. I like this. I love it when it rains in games. Ooh, you upgrade houses. Interesting. So building a clay pit, we need to build a bricks works as well. Brickworks. Yes, I can I place it across? I can't place it there. Maybe I'll move it to the back a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So, let's see what happens if I don't 
Like, I don't think you have to connect the road right up to it. It just needs to be within range. That's actually an interesting way of doing it. And it does make sense because people can walk off road a little bit. And I actually don't think any game has actually done this compromise between you need to connect it with a road or it just doesn't need a road at all. Right? Usually it's one or the other. It has to be touching a road or it doesn't have to touch a road ever. Does weather actually affect anything mechanically? Homeless Citizen died. <laughs> it's a survival game. Um, the the tooltip for the heavy rain... Decimius died because he did not have a home. Uh, population is 15. Oh, we need another house. Another domo. Can I prioritize construction? I assume there is a... Grid overlays. Oh, there's... Oh, you can toggle a grid? Oh, a lot of people are gonna like this. You can toggle the grid. Enemy traversable overlay. Fertility. Right, okay, so you can... Okay, a lot of people are gonna like that. I don't think there's a way... Oh, wait, wait, builders assigned. Double max builders. Current priority, there it is. Max. Quar Qu Quartius is gonna build that. Good. So you apply the priority to the construction. Also, this archer? It's not even an archer. <laughs> we have a wood archer tower, but I don't think we have any bows, so there's just a guy up there. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stare at the enemy. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to rotate around so I can see him. Look at this guy. He's... He's having the time of his life. <laughs> He's just stood up there in the rain. With it. Just him and his thousand yard stare to keep him company. <laughs> It's like, I will see when the enemy comes. <laughs> He's just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, can we see their name? Ves Vespasius. Vespasius will save us all. Vespasius the hero. You won't have any more homeless citizens if you don't have any more homeless citizens. That is true. But, oh look, this one's happy? Good. So now we should have homes for everyone. Yes. And now we can get to constructing these. Oh, we also need four wheat farms, right? Uh, farming. There is winter. To build a farm and ensure a steady food supply, here's what you need to know. Winter production, keep in mind that farm production decreases in winter, so plan accordingly. Fertility score, when placing the farm fertility score will show. Ceres' influence. Farms can be affected by the goddess Ceres. Her blessing can boost crop growth speed and maintain regular production during winter. However, beware of her curse. So there are gods' blessings and curses in this game, which can cause crop disease, indicated by green mist. Okay, so we have all this fertile ground. I assume 115%? That's pretty good. I'll try and maximize this. Build more homes, it says. So we need four of these. One, two... So, sometimes it says can't place building here. Oh, it's because the rock's in the way. Would be good to have tooltips saying why we can't place a building there. 113% is fine. 114% is fine. So let's do that. And then... We didn't have to build a road to place them. I think as long as we don't have to build a road to place them, they work without a road there. So I'm not going to road that up because roads cost a surprising amount, actually. Like... I think 
thing when you're drawing roads. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to see how these work. So, oh, we're gaining more people because people are happy, which means we need to build more houses. So we should place another house down. Okay, but let's also... Current priority two, current priority one, current priority three, six, four. Oh, it shows you exactly. So the, the priority auto applies based on when you place it. And then you can change the priority as you go. Show list. Oh, and then you can see the whole list. Okay, the UI actually has a lot of information. Once you find out where things are, you can actually see everything. So some of these are lower priority, but they build faster because they're easier. So our population has been going up. You can upgrade farms as well. So just... I've never clicked on our headquarters. <laughs> now it's going to tell me about the headquarters. <laughs> so, so it shows immigration. Settlement borders are currently open. You can close the borders to stop people from coming in. Okay. It provides its own defense, so we actually didn't need the tower right next to it. That sort of makes sense, yeah. Immigration control, gatherer settings, storage capacity. Right, so it's got built-in storage as well. Affects the amount of workers needed and the speed of gathering. Gathering settings. Trees per wood gatherer. One gatherer per four trees. You can micro this. Wow, okay. Let's not mess with these because I'm unsure of what would be good or bad. But let's go ahead and build more homes and get these all constructed. We're getting the wheat farms down. Where do we... It's autumn now. So I guess we don't... I might have been dawdling too long. So, yeah, during winter, wheat and cabbage farms produce less. Yeah, so... Currently zero religion. Okay. It's November and December, so of course we're not farming anything right now. We're gonna get this going. Flanus is gonna gather clay for us. Go, Flanus. Get us the clay. They're excited to play this demo. Just make sure you click the link, the referral link, so they know you came from here, and then try a free demo. <laughs> so this is constructing up soon. So it's now December, year zero. We're going into the end of our first year. We have 17 population, four houses. So I assume upgrading... If I click upgrade, what happens? Furniture upgrade, insulation upgrade. I see. It's currently locked. Technology not researched. Oh, if you click the upgrade, it brings you to the technology. And it highlights it. That's nice. Oh, so what are the tech trees? Of course, something's coming soon. So there's food tech tree, houses and monuments tech tree, industry tech tree, enhanced quarry tools, mechanical drills, clothes making, services and religion, hospital, arena, small temples, altars, large temples, theater, coliseum, circus maximus. That doesn't look like a lion or a tiger. That just looks like a bobcat or something. Is that a lynx? What? What? Behind the coming soon. What type of cat is that? <laughs> uh, city defense. High guard tower. Scorpion. Ballista. Flamethrower. Is that going to be um, Greek fire? Ballista fire bolts. Ballista reinforced bolts. Spearman. Sagittarius, I assume it's not the star sign. Um, I assume it's a type of soldier because barracks, spearmen, Sagittarius, brick wall, sharp stone arrows. Okay, there's, there's a lot here. There's, there's five different tech trees. Like, if I wanted to... So it costs food, no academia built active. So I don't have any academia, so I cannot... It's winter! I didn't even realize the, the color is changing. So we, we built all of this stuff. And it's actually snowing. The winter snow gets white. 
So we now need to build an academia. Good. Build a tavern and a hospitium. Hospitiums are larger and better than regular domus. Okay. So that should be under services. We need a tavern. Building area of effect. So this uses radius. Area effect radius. And placing a... Oh, it's in a it's radius. On the right side of the screen, you can... Building info, you can see which stats, health, comfort, safety, recreation, culture are affected and by how much. So... I want to place this... Oh, so it has a, the green up arrow to show that it does touch the house. So I want to place this like here. Good. And then I also want to build a... Academia. Which doesn't need to be near the houses. Let's just place it right here. Okay. And then we need a... What? Hospitium. Which is a type of house. Hospitium. The hospitium, or in this case, small hotel, is the ancient Roman concept of hospitality as a divine right of the guest and a divine duty of the host. Citizens are happier if they have neighbors, so building residential blocks will benefit their welfare. Oh, that's why there was a happy face when I built a house next to a house. And that makes sense, but also I don't think... That's a very common mechanic in city builders, where houses create good desirability for other houses. In many cases, other houses are bad desirability for other houses because of crowding or whatever. But yeah, it makes sense that people want to live near each other. So, hospitium. Yeah, see there's like a, a plus arrow on all the houses if I place this here. Good, let's place that there next to the tavern. Google Sagittarii are basically arches. Okay, they're probably like good arches then. Strange they mix English and Latin terms like this. I mean, if you go all Latin, no one will understand what you're talking about. <laughs> so I feel like this is how to get people into understanding some Latin, right? Because for example, the the when you're placing, I think uh no, no, when you're placing the settlement, I don't think it says so yeah, it sort of mixes like domus, housing, right? So it's trying to link these words together. When you're placing the settlement, it was saying castrum, but in parentheses, settlement, right? So because if you just say castrum, people are like, what, like castrate? <laughs> right? You, you, you have to sort of accommodate the lack of Latin and the fact Latin is a dead language into using these words, right? So this this is working out quite nicely. Looking at the details of the structures and stuff, this is actually quite nice. Th this is actually looking like an ancient Roman road. Right, Th this, this is blending quite nicely. You know, the house into the road, into the next structure. Like, the textures, there's no, like, hard lines or anything. So it, it looks and makes sense. Right? Trying to clock any weird models or anything. The house roof texture is pretty high res. Ah, the smoke is a few pixels off to the front. <laughs> That's not the kind of feedback they need for this demo. <laughs> it's like, ah, the smoke coming out of the chimneys looks a little misaligned if you zoom in. <laughs> that, that's not all that useful feedback at this stage of a free demo. <laughs> but, like, I'm just trying to clock problems because so far no bugs have happened and visually the game has been looking pretty good. Some randomized house designs would be neat. Yes, so I am unsure architecturally of ancient Roman house building. Were they often standardized by city code or were they like freeform, build whatever you want? Like, I don't know what historically the, the laws would, would uh, say about all of that. Uh, so I placed the hospitium, the tavern's almost down, the academia is being built, um, checking our resources. We're a little low on stone because I think the academia took any small stones. Oh yeah, we want to clear the small stones as well because they block 
they block construction. Build more homes. Congratulations, you reached 20 population. We have just become a vicus. I don't know what that means. No workers are available. Oh, because of the barkeep. So we need to attract more people. Oh, we actually have 22 population anyway. But this thing, this thing is going to house people, right? The hospitium. It houses 10 people, right? But I suppose I could put down another house anyway, right? Let's place it here because they all like to live next to each other, right? We'll have another house. Good. Also checking, are uh, gathered resources visually depicted? I mean, it shows the types of resources we have. I assume it'll show... Are there four here? One, two, three, four. Yes. Wait, hold on. We have... Oh, researching technologies. Yes, cost and time. Researchers needed someone works at the academia. Okay, understood. So we have wood. We have stone, which I assume is this. We have clay. So clay is not shown here. We have bricks and we have iron. So unless clay is being stored somewhere else. So this looks like we have bread and stuff. Uh, no, I think the, the clay is stored here, but it's not currently being depicted. So I, I would like the resources to be depicted, but no worries, free demo. But just there's room to show all the resources in here. Just I'd like it to reflect what we've got stored in there. Uh, wow, look at this. Just put giant gears on the side. <laughs> Not historically accurate, but it looks nice. Okay, cool. So this we need. So we we're we're out of workers, right? We've only got Cicero, one barkeeper. We need three. We we just need more people right now. Um, oh, we get to see people making the bricks as well. Standing a bit close to the fire there, Claudius. <laughs> but okay, cool. Passionate about the job. Fire burns in him and outside of him. <laughs> he likes living dangerously. Okay, so if I go to research now and I want to get, for example, the furniture upgrade. Research categories, yes. Researching, yes. If I want to research this, it costs 30 food. And we are maxed out on food anyway, so let's research. Yeah, unlocks... So th this this can just be made more efficient later on. Unlocks furniture upgrade for Domus Hospitium. Insula and large hospitium. Research. Yes. Research this. In progress. Good. So we're now researching furniture. That shows on the side there and the progress bar. Very nice. Oh, right. We didn't really look at our farms. So yeah, it works without roads. They're just watering the farms. Very nice. What? It's spring now. A pr Arpilis. Is that what April is called? H to go to your headquarters. Oh, is that a... Oh, there's a center camera button. So if I... If I look far away and zoom in, it tells me H hey, to go to headquarters so you don't get lost. I see. I feel like that that is... Um, there, there may be a bug where your camera gets stuck in something. Oh, right. Yeah, I see. Like, you could get your camera stuck somewhere maybe or just lost. What is this thing? It's, it's just a wild boar. Look at it go. <laughs> H. So H brings you back to the center. This hospitium is taking a long time to build. I guess it, it makes sense. It's a pretty large structure. Sergius, Maximus, Fulvius, and Quartius. Build it. Build it fast. Farms are kind of small. That's always a debate in city builders. Do you have like these manageable square farms? Or do you have like sprawling fields? It's it's just game mechanics. 
Like... Oh, look at that, they're all happy because... There's a new home. More people get to live there. We need to build a quarry and a cabbage farm. Oh, we got different types of food. Oh, so there's a large stone here. It requires a quarry to mine. So let's go ahead and build a... Qu oh, quarry. We need tech stone mining. Oh, we need to research something. That would be industry. Stone mining. We gotta wait for them to finish the current tech. Okay, so we also need a cabbage farm. Which we also need tech cabbage farming. Okay, so we got a couple things to research here. I should let this one finish first. We've got more than enough food. Um, how about people? It looks like, yeah, we've, we've got more people coming in. I could just build another one there. Lovely rains come in. in. Is it age or H for H? Because you say age, like H. Uh, it's whatever you want. Research complete. Research. So I need to get cabbage farm and stone mining. Let's do stone mining first. Yeah, stone mining. Yes. Um, I would like to be able to queue. Or would that be tied to building... Like, I, I said I wanted to queue techs. But maybe that should be a bonus for building more academias. But no, queuing, you should be able to queue. And if you build a second academia, you should be able to research two techs at the same time. That's a good enough bonus, right? So I would like a queue mechanic for researching techs. But like, if I build two academias, we should be able to research two techs at a time, right? That makes sense? Still no taxes. Oh, it shows like what you could earn. One gold from a domus, two gold from a hospitium, six gold from a large hospitium, three gold from luxury domus. There are villas, 25 gold. I assume people who, the patricians who live in villas, don't, um, work. <laughs> okay, our little settlement's coming along. I assume hunting, building upgrades, right? Select upgrade, activate upgrades. Yep, we saw that. Vanton TV, thank you so much for the sub. Okay, so we're about to get the stone mining tech. Yeah, taxes need to be researched, I'm pretty sure. What is that? Oh, that's difficulty. Junius. I assume that's June. Summer. Yeah, no god stuff yet, but that will be coming along, I'm pretty sure. If I look, research complete, good. We needed cabbage farms. Must have built four wheat farms to research cabbages. Research cabbage. So now let's go to industry quarry. Oh, we need more wood. I didn't check the cost. Uh, chop those trees. Chop those trees. Chop those trees. Chop those trees. Okay, get to chopping some trees. Off they go. Yes, work my little ants. Oh, so yeah, I didn't notice. I didn't note that this doesn't need to be touching the road. Structures just need to be close enough to the road. And that makes sense. So we don't actually need this. If I demolish it... Oh, you get 50 wood back if you demolish this. This one has a refund. Just no refund on... Okay, let's demolish this. <laughs> It's instant. Because this this already covers. This already has defense. So we actually need it like over there or something. So let me replace it. Wood Archer Tower. Over here. To cover that stuff. And then I wanted to build a quarry. So the quarry... Uh, make sure the quarry is next to a large rock. The rock should be within the square placement marker for the quarry to function. Oh, it needs to be right on it, right. 
negative effects. Yeah, so I want this one. Um, how do I rotate this? There's some weird water pools around this. So I actually can't quarry this one, I think. Not reachable from headquarters or on a small hill. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, that's... Where's the next big rock? I don't want to build it near the houses. Oh, this works. Yeah, we'll quarry up there. And we do have the cabbage farms now. Let's build a cabbage farm. Oh, it's a long one. Um, I guess like that. First enemy wave. Uh-oh. Brace yourself. First enemies are approaching. Enemy indicator. Right. The small indicator on your map shows where the barbarians will arrive from. Keep an eye on it to prepare your defenses accordingly. Place down towers and other defenses to protect your settlement. Ensure you have workers assigned to operate these defenses effectively. Prepare your city and defend your people against the impending threat. Barbarians. A horde of barbarians from the north is charging towards your settlement. They come to pillage, kill, and burn your menacing new settlement. Oh, right. They, they view us as menacing. With the Romans, we're obviously colonizing this land. These ruthless invaders are notorious for the destructive behavior. They set houses ablaze, loot your resources, and wreak havoc on your community. Barbarian stats. Height, 1.6 meters. Weight, 80 kilos. Approximate health, 13. Threat level, 2. Best defenses, Scorpio, Archer Tower. Resources gained when killed. Golden weapons. Ooh, we loot their weapons? Attacks, strike, slash, burn. Blood type. Oh, negative. No, it doesn't say blood type. <laughs> Let's get a cabbage farm. Bam. Okay. Uh, threat scouted 16 barbarians. Okay. In eight months. So we got to make sure we have wood arch towers covering everything. I should probably place one here. And then one to cover our farms over here. And then we're... Like, that's all of our wood. So we also want to make sure we... Yeah, chop up a few more trees. No workers available. It's fine. They'll figure it out. Okay. So we're building the quarry. And then eight months for the barbarians. That should be fine. Our towers should cover everything. Does, also, does this show there's enemy traversable overlay? Oh yeah, so like there's a large stone here. But because of these water pools from the world generation, we actually can't build here. And also the enemy can't traverse here, interestingly enough. But is that why this road is kind of messed up? That would make sense. This is technically not traversable land. <laughs> okay, so they can walk in all the not red parts. How do I turn off the grid? There we go. Alright. Let's keep things building. I assume, yeah, the wood archer towers are coming. Also, the wood archer towers will... Um... What? Take people. So housing currently 40. We have 37, 3 vacant. Okay. How's this tavern look, by the way? Nice, colorful. Yeah, there's a lot of nice details when you get down to like close levels. Okay, seven months. Priority five. This wood tower is coming on through. Okay, quarry is being built as well. You can see the structures coming together as well. I feel like there's a little bit of a depth of field. But not a lot. It's nice being able to come all the way down here and see things work. It feels like, you know, one of the older city builders. Also, invasions coming from there. 
So the spawn location is over on this side, in this clearing. So this is where they spawn. They're coming from the mountains. We built our cabbage farm. Plant some cabbages. Water the cabbages. They do grow, which is nice to see. The golden wheat fields coming out nicely. Very nice. Vanton, you literally spent the last hour trying to sub. It's sometimes complicated. <laughs> Unnecessarily so. Thank you so much, though. It's nice that this quarry is actually gonna, like, attach onto this stone. Right? Makes it feel quite naturalistic. And restrictions like that do make city builders interesting. Like, ranges and radiuses. Right? It, it's what leads to gameplay. Wood Archer Tower. Okay. So, invasion is coming in. This is going to be our first invasion. We've maxed out on population. So you can um, disable people moving in. Jupiter has noticed me. I feel like that's not necessarily a good thing. Hear me, mortal. I am Jupiter, the supreme ruler of the heavens. Your settlement has grown enough to warrant my attention. I offer great power and prosperity if you follow my commands and honor me with respect. Build temples in my name, conduct rituals, and you shall see your city flourish under my protection. My blessings can enhance your production buildings and aid you in your technological advancements. Fail to show proper devotion and you will face my wrath. Heavy rains will drench your city, slowing construction and production. Lightning storms will destroy your buildings. Do not disappoint me. When a god goddess first discovers you, their favor will be high, and you may receive a blessing. Look at this Giga Chad depiction of Jupiter. <laughs> like, it, he's got that beard going on, so you can't tell. Is that the jawline or a sculpted beard? Like, I, w I wish I could grow a beard and sculpt it to imply, to imply like a strong jaw. <laughs> Luscious locks, Giga Beard. And it's snowing. So, uh, I think someone earlier did ask whether weather has effects. Apparently, it does. Heavy rain means people work slower. I assume light rain and light snow, people are fine. Okay, the quarry is now working. Well, no, there's no workers in there. It's nine. It's not quite finished. It's ninety-nine percent built. Come on, who who who's building this? Belicius, Crassius, Maximus, and uh, Crassus, Maximus, and Sagarius. Come on, one percent. What what's missing? Like a little gear on the pulley. What what do you need? What do you need to finish this structure? What do you need? Like one missing screw. <laughs> Oh, five months of the invasion. It says build walls, build a gate, upgrade an archer tower. Okay, well, we know they're coming from there. So I'd want to upgrade this archer tower, which we need to research something. Fire arrows, iron, sharp stone arrows. Okay, hold on. So research, city defense. But also, can I build walls now? Let's go to defenses. Wooden wall. Okay, we just need a lot of wood. Build a gate. Wooden gate. Okay, we don't need to research the stone, but we do need to research an upgrade for the archer tower. So let's go to research. Sharp stone arrows makes sense. Let's research that. Yes. And also, let's get to building. Wooden gate. I guess I'll... 
place it near here. I don't know, that feels kind of weird. I might need to build another archer tower to properly do this. We can rotate the gate. Yeah, does, is there a front or back? Not really. It's, it's universal direction. Okay, let's let's just place a gate here. I don't know if the gate can provide defenses, but let's place that there. And we also want to build wooden walls. I can't see where the gate I placed was. Okay, let's just build... Yeah, let the trees fall first. Now I can see it. Wooden wall. So, it says build walls 25. So if I just build a wall over to the side like this... Build it over like this. And I assume we could just build it up to this and they can't traverse that. Because if I look at the enemy traversal tiles, I mean, they could... I assume I assume this this blocks it off. Now I'm unsure if the the gate has defenses. Wood gates allow the citizens to enter but not threats. They are much weaker than their brick counterparts. Jupiter is content. Choose your blessing. Oh, okay. Uh production blessing, accelerated advancement. Let's do accelerated advancement because we are rushing this tech. Accelerated advancement. <laughs> Look at this. Jupiter's come down to our academia and are like, opened an Elder Scroll. <laughs> Researching is cheaper and faster. Construction is also faster. It lasts around five months or until Jupiter is no longer content. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to need a wood archer tower to help cover all of this. Like, I don't know what the meta is. Do you build the tower as part of the wall? I guess we'll find out. Our city is covered. I just want the wooden wall to continue on down this way. Yeah. So that will be our border there. Yeah, besides that, I assume we'll be fine. Cuz we are we are covered on all of these sides. Yeah, so we should be fine. We should be fine. Construction is going faster. We might need more wood. Uh, we're still collecting. Need to chop more trees. Build more homes. Yeah, we might need another domu as well. Oh, we don't have enough wood for a domu. Damn. How much does it cost to upgrade as well? Sharp stone arrows. Okay, we can afford that. I will upgrade this one. Uh, can I... Oh, is this... No. Wait. How do I upgrade this? Hold on. Pause the game. Upgrade. Not enough resources. Oh, that's why. I, I just don't have wood. Okay. I need wood to upgrade. Uh... I don't know if we're going to finish this in time. <laughs> we will see what happens. Current priority one on the wooden gate. Yeah. Um, oh, this blessing is just shown there. Okay, nice. Uh, we just don't have enough wood. We're getting some. Let's upgrade this. Shops on arrow. Whoa, I like that screen shake. <laughs> So we upgraded this to sharp stone arrows. Does that show the upgrade? Like that banner? 
Yeah, the banner shows the upgrade. Nice visual representation. Like, probably neat. I would like a better, re like, more visual rep representation besides the banner, but having some visual representation is already good. Okay. Constructing of all of this is a bit more complicated. I do need another domo. Like, if I wasn't, like, taking my time, I would have been able to uh, get this prepared for the first invasion. So the walls are coming along. I assume there's going to be a way that we could fortify this. Do I hear lightning? Is that Jupiter doing things? Like, this is set to priority one. But it seems like they're finishing some of the wall segments. Oh, it actually does show priority 27, 29. Crime, theft in treasury, 27 gold was lost. Increasing the population safety metric would help decrease crime rates. May justice prevail. Okay. So crime's already a mechanic as well. Build more homes. Yeah, we got 43 people, but only 40 housing. Oh no, that's not lightning. It's the sound of trees falling. <laughs> It does sound a bit like lightning, though. Okay, the gate is almost done. The walls are coming along. I just don't know whether... Yeah, it says the gates are weaker, so the, the gates can be destroyed. Okay, two months for them to show up. The gate will be done, but it like we might just immediately die. But we've got some good overlap on these towers, and that one is upgraded. So we should be fine. I don't I have no sense of how strong 16 barbarians are. There, we got the gate. But yeah, we probably are supposed to be building these towers. Along the walls. I just don't know whether they should be as part of the wall or outside the wall or inside the wall. I don't know. I don't know the meta here. Because if I go to wood archer tower, like if I place it here, does it cover? Or should I place it out here? Like maybe I should place it like this, right? I'm just going to preemptively start building a tower there. Knowing my luck, they're going to walk around this side. <laughs> they're just, they're just going to come like around this way and dodge the wall entirely because that always happens to me. We are getting the wall up though. Yeah, we need 25 wall tiles, which should be easy enough. Uh, if I... Prioritize that to priority one. Invasion is imminent. Is that them? That's them. Here they come. Let's see what they do, what they can destroy, what they do destroy, and whether we can kill them. Okay, they're splitting up a bit. Can they walk through unfinished wall tiles? Oh, our towers are firing. They can walk through unfinished wall tiles. So they're just running through. I assume they're raiding, but also our settlement can fire as well. Oh, they're going for the houses. Oh, archers can't miss. They're not 100% accuracy. Well, that's on fire. They got a couple houses. Nice fire effect, though.
Oh, there's a couple out there hitting the wall. They're just going at it. <laughs> there's like a massive hole in the wall. They're like, I'm taking down this wall. So this is the upgraded tower. It does do more damage, you can tell. Okay, well... Rubble. Hospi oh, they went for the Hospitium? Damn it. There is a rebuild button, which is nice. We should definitely uh, reprioritize this. Let's keep this as one. This is two. Okay, so yeah, we do want towers along the walls. And I think towers can shoot over the wall. Oh, this needs to be rebuilt as well. Okay. So if I check the... Yeah, so this doesn't show... Oh, it shows non-traversable on the gate, I see. And then I guess the wall is implied. They can't traverse. So I assume this is this is a tight lock because I think they can only walk onto completely clear tiles. They can't walk here and this has a wall on it. Oh, nice touch that the wall does close up like that. Okay. Uh, let me turn this off. Okay. Alright, so we're building more homes. The walls, we have placed enough to get that. Is there an alarm bell or something? I don't think there's an alarm bell. I think they mainly go for structures, not people. Offer food to a god, build a temple, build a forum, throw a religious festival. We're getting into government and religion, yes. Okay. Build a temple, build a forum. Are those things that we need to research? I think so. Oh, forum we don't. Town guard. Oh, town guard will reduce crimes. Let's construct a forum. Oh, mm. Big range. People want to live near it. Let's construct the forum behind our settlement. Because that sort of makes sense, right? Yes. I don't think there's any bonuses to industry, just houses. Yeah. So let's place it here. Forum is going there. Temple? Yeah, we need to research a temple. That would be services and religion, small temples, research. Yes. Good. Uh, offer food to a god, throw a religious festival. I assume we're gonna need... Um, the temples to do that. Okay, we've built the houses. We just need to get this hospitium back up. And probably should throw down... Do I throw down another hospitium? Around the back. Good. And I can just extend a road like that. Yeah, nice housing cluster right there. Okay, Forum will be coming along. Crime, arson. Domus was lit on fire. Some people will not survive the flames. An arsonist has set fire to one of our buildings. We must strengthen our patrols to prevent further incidences. Okay. Our city is getting to a point where we do need... Uh, maybe services. Town guard. We need stone and wood. Okay, we need to collect more. Any other small stones to gather? Yep. And then let's... Gather yeah, those more trees as well. Okay, good. We're building a lot of things. Uh, but also there was, um, Forester. 8 trees per month inside the green circle. I should probably get a Forester. But I mean, there's still a lot of natural trees around. We don't need to be planting them back quite yet. Oh, this needs to be rebuilt. Okay. We definitely need the town guard 
which we need more stone and more wood. Quite a bit more, actually. Because crimes be happening. This bit of wall is done. This is now covering that. I think this, this kind of covers there. There's like a bit of a blind spot there, but... Sure. I think you can build these towers as part of the wall, but this should work fine. Oh, he's watching the wrong way. <laughs> guy, my guy, Numisius. Uh, the, the enemy comes from the other side. <laughs> well, I guess when... When no invasion's happening, you can't just look at the city. <laughs> Prefectures and engineers post. I don't think those are part of this... Research complete. But I'm gonna get a town guard first. Let's put the town guard... Is there a front? Let's put the town guard right here. No, let's put it back here, between the houses and the forum. Congratulations, you reached 50 population with now an opidulum. I don't know what an opidulum is, but sure. We should also be able to build a small temple. Jupiter. That much stone? Jeez. Like, the quarry is producing 31 a month. It's just... Any other small stones to gather? Yeah. Gather up all these small stones. So, the small temple... We should build to Jupiter because that's the only god that knows us, right? I assume... Oh, taxes? You need a treasury to tax your people. Treasury? Is that a whole other kind of building? Oh, there. Tech taxes. Right. So, let me check here. Can I unlock... Uh, what was it under? Taxes. Let's research taxes. Ooh, Research Triumphal Arch. Imposing symbol of Roman triumph. Built to commemorate the Empire's victories and inspire your people. Cost 200 gold to do that, huh? Okay, so we've got a town guard, plus 55 safety. Which is really boosting happiness. Our population has surpassed our housing again. If I... It's a... Plus four baseline comfort if I upgrade. I could have been upgrading houses as well with furniture. I researched that, but I never... Let's just get another hospitium. Make room for more people. So the farm's coming in... Because four people? Four town guards? That's quite a lot, huh? Uh, temple, right? Uh, services, temple to Jupiter. We're still a little short on stone. Uh, stone is going into the forum, that's why. 65 for this. We're at 56. So I assume chopping down trees and building things doesn't affect the efficiency of the hunting. The animals just stay here forever. Which isn't always realistic, but sure. I mean, sometimes gameplay mechanics need to trump uh, the, like, realism. Okay, so let's... We've got stone. Do I have enough of everything else? Yes. Okay, let's place this temple back here. Some people live right across from the Temple of Jupiter. Oh, the farm is built? Oh, this is like some low-level farm. Our pillars only go up to, like, waist high. <laughs> this is some small town forum. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's like a little stage. This is like a... This is like a, the, the open-air auditorium in a government school in, in my home country. <laughs> we can't afford to build a hall, so we just put some chairs outside and we got a stage. <laughs> You're lucky if you got chairs. When I was growing up, we had to sit on the ground. Nice stage, though. 
Okay, so the f Berserkers! Oh no. Powerful berserkers are heading towards your settlement. They come driven by bloodlust and a desire to raise your thriving community. These tall, strong, and vicious barbarians are not to be underestimated. They excel in close combat and can inflict severe damage on your structures and citizens. They're two meters tall? They're two meters tall? They weigh a hundred kilos? 35 health. Threat 4. These are twice as dangerous, because the, the last ones were Threat 2. Hater Barbarians, yeah. Ugh. They're two meters tall?! Strike slash burn. Ensure your defenses are ready to face these fearsome warriors and protect your city from their rampage. Where are they coming from? Same spot? 18 Barbarians and 8 Berserkers in 8 months. Okay, same spot. So we just have to make sure we reinforce our outer defenses. So let's get another... Oh, we need so much more wood. Chop wood. Chop wood. Chop wood. We need some extra towers around the outsides. Get those trees as well. Jupiter is displeased. Consequences will soon follow. See the list of possible consequences in the religion panel by hovering over Jupiter. Where's the religion panel? This. Ceres not interested. Jupiter displeased. Um, open the religion. Where is the religion? Oh, it's down here. Religion. Okay. God info. Click on the gods' portraits to see information about them and the people, possible blessings and curses they may bestow upon you. Favor and sentiment. Yeah, okay. The way this is tutorialized once you open it up is quite good. They like highlight things. You know, they point to it. They pause the game when it's describing things. Below a certain favor, they become displeased or even worse, furious. Okay, they could become happy. So, favor. Temple coverage, I see. Build enough temples dedicated to God to ensure adequate coverage. The second number is gain loss from favoritism or jealousy. Oh, it's jealous gods, okay. The third number is gain from your actions, such as offerings, religious festivals, okay. Impressions and wishes. I command you to build more temples in my honor. I demand you uh, more offerings and festivals to show your respect. Okay, listen to them wisely. Uh, active blessings and curses take place down here. Okay, player actions I see are there. Offerings, festivals, and religious crusades. So there's Ceres, Jupiter, Mars, Venus. No other gods? <laughs> there's so many gods you always have to pick and choose in games. So this is Jupiter. So frequent downpours to lightning blasts, right? Mars, crime rage, defense inferno. Venus... Oh, a lot of possible things here. Disease, house fires, okay, series, large crop fires, okay, so this, build a forum, religious festival. So I need to have a religious festival. To Jupiter, gold cost 39? Yeah, small festival to Jupiter, start festival. Hint? Oh, the hint button just brings this stuff up again, okay. That's good. Okay. So we'll throw the small festival to get Jupiter pleased. We need to build... I'll probably build two more towers here. We need a hundred wood to do it. So effects on residence uh, is plus culture plus comfort for the forum. Monthly upkeep is 10 stone. This thing has some upkeep cost. Okay, we're getting some wood. Uh, let's go wood archer tower. Let's pop another one in that corner and another one. Like if they break through, they'll be hit again. Let's throw another one. Here? Yeah, let's build another one there. And then we should should probably start trying to finish this wall off. Uh, we can probably... 
just wall right up to the edge here. Right? And I should put, like, one archer tower over this side as well, but... Yeah, we're getting through a lot of these trees. Keep getting trees. Okay, two more towers to watch this wall. We have towers covering the insides, but as you could see before, once they get through the wall, they can set fire to structures pretty quick. Uh, how's this temple coming along? Slowly, but it's getting there. Uh, housing, yep. Idle workers. There's no idle workers right now. Everyone's got a job to do. Okay, hopefully the barbarians aren't smart enough to just walk around. And they come straight for our wall and gate here. That would be good. I want to throw one tower over this side. Just in case some come around this side. Because I don't think this is sort of watching a little bit there. This is watching there. So I could do with like one tower here. Like just here. Make sure it covers the back range as well. Okay. Then I'll be pretty happy with the defenses on this side. You see it's snowing. Are the seasons relevant? Yes. Crops grow slow in the winter. You can get blessings so they grow normally in the winter. You're surprised Juno is not one of the gods? Like not having the ultimate jealous god included. <laughs> I would be very afraid. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Juno has been in any Roman city builder. I think it's just people don't really know. Like, if you have too many gods, it gets very confusing. Like, Caesar 3 has five gods. So far, what we've seen here, there's four gods. I wouldn't mind adding more, but... So workers can walk through this edge. How about... Can I fit one more? That is still an opening. Have I found maybe a bug? Yeah, it says I can place there, but it's not consuming resources. So I think I have to... build down to there. Just some... Th these are edge case... Um, terrain problems. It's very difficult to catch all those in a free demo. But yeah. Just have to build these a little bit specifically to make sure it is actually blocked off. I wouldn't mind if this red overlay was a bit more red. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, this, this should block it off. Okay, towers coming up. One, two, three. Would be nice to be able to have troops patrolling the walls. She's Hera, basically, and her field of power is being the wife of Jupiter slash Zeus. So you'd want to ditch her for more cooler gods. I mean, there's ways to make gods cool. This obviously isn't historically accurate. A hundred percent. I mean, look at our academia. They just put giant gears with a giant telescope with gears. Very steampunk academia. They look at things and then they discover. And they play around with a lot of gears. So this next, next invasion, so it's 18 barbarians, 8 berserkers. We know berserkers are basically twice as powerful as barbarians. Last time was 16 or 18 barbarians. So this is essentially 16 barbarians plus the 18 barbarians because the berserkers are twice as powerful. So this invasion in general is going to be twice as dangerous as the last one. So we survived with one building being burned last time when the wall wasn't complete and we only had the inner towers. Now we have one, two, three outer towers, four outer towers there and a complete wall. Like, I probably want to go ahead and start walling this side as well. 
So if I place up a gate here and throw down a wood wall, where's the edge of the gate? And then it's a little hard to get the walls just right. And then to there. I think that, yeah, because that tile is red. But just in case, I'm going to do that. Nope. I'm going to wall that. And then we want to wall up to... there. So that will be fully walled off. Jupiter is pleased. Um, I think accelerated advancement again because it makes... Accelerated advancement also boosts building speed, I think last I read. Construction is 25% faster, yeah. Wood Archer Tower. Let's pop two of these down. Just in case they start making their way round this mountain. I don't think they will, but that should at least discourage them from going that way. Then there's this side that's open. And then this side that's way open. But I don't know if things can spawn. Like, there's also the giant mythological creatures that might come for us. So <laughs> I don't know which direction they're going to come from. But... We should be able to at least wall off this, and we now have properly defended this this side. We have 73 people. Oh, I thought something was on fire. No, it's just the temple. Augur priest. Oh, we don't have enough people. Yeah, we need more. Throw down another hospitium. I think that's just out of range, yeah. Yeah, we need more wood as well. Keep chopping trees. That looks like it should be defended. Is this saying someone is homeless? Yeah, that's someone homeless. I just noticed the, the color of the guy on top also. I don't know if that changes because of the upgrade. No. They just wear different clothes sometimes. This guy's blue. <laughs> Nebulord, welcome. Pinwriter, the tediousness of things feels like it's gonna get boring fast. This is the game. <laughs> I mean, I fully understand that survival city builders are like not um, everyone's cup of tea. But this is what a survival city builder, builder is, right? Like, this is the game. <laughs> like, this, this is what people have been enjoying. Okay, this wall is coming on down. Two towers should be good to hold that. At least do a lot of damage. Oh, Jupiter's content again? Okay, this time I think we can do the production blessing. Yes, increase in production to all non-food industry lasts around five months. Okay. Jupiter's liking us. We can see. Yeah, very high favor here. I assume your yeah, food's still going up. Yeah, wood and stone should be covering quite a lot now. Like, once this is fully constructed, I could start walling up the other sides as well. Wooden gate. Let's line it up here. Let's wall off this side. This side's a bit easier as well. Within a wall. Up to there. Up to there. Build more homes. Didn't I place another one already? Oh, people are really moving in, huh? Let's throw down another dome. 
and then you want two archer towers like flanking the gate we'll get one going first oh offer food to a god i've been totally missing that objective i've been so distracted uh food offering jupiter yeah, just give him 21. He's happy enough already. Donate. I was like so caught up with these berserkers showing up, I forgot the objectives. Okay, so... Yeah, this, this is going real nice. I do want one more wood archer tower here. Crime, break-in and theft. Stone, tools, weapons, cloth. Okay. Is it because of the homeless people? <laughs> I mean, that would be understandable. I guess this town guard isn't quite... Housing idle workers. 23 idle workers? I think it's because our security is expanding so fast. Insula, large hospitium, triumphal arch, services, arena. Maybe I could get some... Justice? Deal with crimes. Enemy incoming. Okay, research the hospital. 50 gold. Yeah, okay, do it. Enemies are showing up. There's a lot more of them, and look at them. They're, they're literally two meters tall. Like, yes, they've got horns on their helmet. This is a, a mythological game. It takes some liberty with the history. <laughs> horns on helmets are obviously impractical. And more of an opera art thing. These berserkers. Look pretty scary to me. They got big hammers. Oh, they hold the hammers in different ways. That's a nice touch. Oh. They're hitting our walls. Okay, one did go around that side. Good thing I built that. I don't know if they're gonna bust through. We can see the numbers of damage. Oh, they busted through pretty easily. <laughs> Wood defenses are not great. They're real tough. We're gonna lose some stuff here. Not our storage. Good thing there's a rebuild button. Oh, they're just running through our town center. I'm playing on easy difficulty. <laughs> okay. Good thing we're researching hospitals. I should probably cut the trees outside so I could see what's going on. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, there's no... Oh, there it is. Rebuild. We need more wood. <laughs> okay. We need a lot more wood. Yeah, let's... Let's... Clear these trees. We can't see what's going on. This is actually a, a smart bit. The, the rubble sort of showed up on the side so the rubble doesn't block the old entrance. Okay, we're gonna need to get a lot more wood because we need to rebuild a lot more things. Like this, need five more wood for that. We've also lost some houses, so there's a bunch of homeless people. Okay, we survived. They did go for the gate. And the, the straggler over this side was taken care of. I should probably be like upgrading the towers more. Like, we did okay. We lost two houses and a storage thing. Yeah. Four more wood. Then rebuild that. Very good. Bring in a bunch of wood. Here comes a stream of wood gatherers. Yes. We got all these spare workers. Let's rebuild that. Let's rebuild that. Okay. 
I wanted survival. Yeah, so you can imagine playing on the harder difficulty. Um, it is going to be, like, properly hard, right? Okay, let's speed things along. And it seems like the tutorial quests have finished. I also did research taxes, didn't I? Um, so I could build a treasury, but it needs a lot more bricks and stone. If I... Kiln efficiency plus 18 bricks. It plus 200% production per month. But the upkeep will go up to three gold a month. Uh, we can't really be maintaining those gold costs until we start taxing. Okay, well, let's collect a bunch of small stones as well. Grab all of those. I don't think there's any more small stones back here. Okay, yeah. Go grab a bunch of stuff. So these large stones, they don't ever run out. They just get mined on forever. Okay. We cleared some trees around our entrance, so we can actually see what's going on now. <laughs> this is... this is walled up. Goddess Ceres notices you? <sighs> Goddess of Agriculture. Your settlement has grown quite a bit, thought I could help out. If you build temples and make offerings, make sure your fields are fertile and your harvest plentiful. Can accelerate crop growth. I think we're okay on food, honestly. But we don't want series curses either. Need more houses, though. The road is too far. Let's extend the road around the back. Let's get more people housed. Because every time we expand the things... We, we also have 20 idle workers. We don't really need that many people. I think some homeless people are going to be fine. Uh, production blessing. Yes, we need more stuff in general. I also wanted to build the treasury. 110 stone. Okay, we... We're almost there. 40 bricks. Uh, we're getting it. Okay. Yeah, we got the stone. But remember, the stone... I think I need to build another quarry. That's, that's what I'm missing. 35 bricks for that. Uh, what's consuming the bricks? Something is consuming bricks. Where are our bricks going? This is consuming stone. The town guard needs five bricks a month? Why? To throw at people? <laughs> they, they need stone and bricks to hit people with, I guess. <laughs> Okay, well... We're, we're at that point in the Survival City Builder where we need everything. We need more of everything. Um, so... We might be able to get one brick here. No, the, uh, the bricks were consumed. Yeah, we need to increase our brick production. So let's throw down another brickworks. Uh, can it just be there? I think that's fine. Let's throw down another brickworks. We do have lots of clay, but I don't know if one clay pit can supply two brickworks. See how that goes. Uh, we also need a forester. 
Also, our food supply is going down. So I probably need to build... Oh, cabbage increases health. I'm gonna need another wheat farm, I'm pretty sure. Let's throw down two, because I feel like that might be a problem. We don't want to suddenly be starving. Um, if I wanted to build a temple to Ceres, it costs bricks as well. Yeah, we just need, we need to get to like the next tech level. Also, let's clear these trees. Make sure we can see all that. Make sure nothing's hiding in the trees outside my city walls. Good. Uh, I also need another... Yeah, I need bricks for everything. So let's, let's get the brickworks down. Then I'll see if the clay is holding. Because right now clay is increasing. So another brickworks might be able to just stay. Yeah, we're at 90 people. I wouldn't mind hitting a hundred people. Oh, we got 40 bricks. Do I have enough stone? I wanted to build a treasury. We don't have enough stone. Okay, fine. Just build a hospitium first. Don't... Oh, it can fit there. Just about. Throw down a hospitium. That'll allow us to support a hundred people. And I feel like that's a good level to be at right now. I just need to... Keep collecting resources. So I get more bricks, then I get more stone. Are people starving? People are starving. Ugh, that's not so good. Uh, do I have... Maybe I get another hunter's hut? It's not really any good efficiency, huh? My good efficiency is out here. Sure. <laughs> we'll throw out a hunter's hut there. Maybe they'll bring back more food. <laughs> okay, our people are already starving. The more of everything phase usually leads to colony collapse phase. Yeah! <laughs> uh, supporting all these people is a bit of a problem. It, it also happened during winter, so that is also a problem. Um, probably just need even more wheat farms. Maybe we can squeeze them on the back. Let's throw down two more wheat farms. We were, we were swimming in food until we weren't, which is always what happens, isn't it? Okay. We got plenty of wood. Because, like, once, once we started getting these things that had maintenance costs, it started becoming a bit of a problem. Ceres is disappointed. I know. I don't have food to give you. Um... To prevent a series... Ugh, 90 bricks? Jeez. Just trying to get this going. Food... Eh. Like a series curse... Would be really bad for us. I don't have any idle workers. The farms are being set up. It is now spring, so the farms should resume. Can I upgrade advanced harvesting? We'll have upkeep of golden tools. You really should not... Threat scouted 31 barbarians and 8 berserkers. And people are starving. <laughs> oh, they're coming from a different direction as well. They're gonna spawn here. And they could run left or right, so they could end up at this side or this side. <laughs> we we might be struggling a little bit here. <laughs> but okay. Okay. Um
So it is spring. I've I've basically doubled my wheat production. Uh, can I job priorities? There are upkeepers, hunters, farmers, so they're already at the top. Clay pit worker, brick worker, barkeeper, researcher, archer, quarry. So it, it is showing... Oh, these are still being built, I see. That's fine. Hopefully, yeah, our food production is now going back up. Okay. Our bricks are going up, our clay is going down. But we should be bringing in way more bricks now. Which will allow us to get more stone. Any big rocks down here? No. Next big rock. That's iron ore. I can't mine that. That's a bit too close to housing, but maybe it's okay. Series is disappointed. Series is blight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do need a series temple as well. Why do you have to discover me? So I need more stone, which means I need another um, quarry, which needs 35 bricks. Okay. Like, I probably can mine up that one. Because I can't get that because of weird water puddles. That should help with food. Okay, we're not starving anymore, but with some food, what I could do is I can... Uh, Oh, I do have money. I could have done a religious festival, I guess. Let's give Ceres 27 food. Favor gains 7. And then maybe a small festival for Ceres. 58 gold. Yeah, we're not using the gold for anything else. Okay. Build more homes. No, I'm gonna have housing for a hundred, and I really probably shouldn't be having more than that. Um, okay, let quarry. I can build a quarry. So let's rotate it so it's on the other side, and I think that works just out nicely. Good. We'll get that quarry going. That hunter's hut will also keep going. So this will get us more stone. So we'll double our stone production. Um... We've doubled our brick production. We've doubled our food production. And... I am concerned about this invading army. How much does it cost to do that? I didn't even look. Oh, one wood per and one stone to maintain... ...these towers. Right, I see. That's what's happening. I think I should just spam archers. Let's get more towers there. Yeah, upgrading is dangerous. Okay, uh... We do have lots of idle peoples. So just yeah, just keep gathering wood. Okay. Um Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on our clay production as well. Um Production blessing. We need more stuff. And we will continue to throw down archer towers as we get the wood. They're here in five months. Eight berserkers, 31 barbarians. Last time was 18 barbarians and eight berserkers. So this is doubling up on the barbarians. Oh, Viking 9000, thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. At least we've solved our food. Yep. I need a... So the temple would just sort of solve... We also... I don't think there's any more small stones to gather. Some are still marked for gathering. 
There's a bunch over here. Just to bring more things in. As you place things to construct, the idle workers go to build stuff. Which are also good and important. I assume they'll hit this one. But if they run left, they might hit this one. Preferably, they would split. But I don't know which way they'll run. If they run left, if they run right. Because as the crow flies, they should target this. But if they target that, they would have to run this side, which is running away from me and then towards me. So they may pathfind and run left side and hit here. Small chance they run this side and go up and hit this one. Hundred people? Dwellment became a municipum. With this triumph comes greater challenges. The eyes of Rome are upon you. Continue to lead with courage and wisdom, for the Empire depends on it. I'm spoken about in the Senate now. Okay. Well, we've got a hundred population. Don't know how long this... Like, we might, we might just die <laughs> on this next invasion. <laughs> Like, I really needed to set up a lot of resource gathering earlier. Like, I don't even have a forester, but like... How important is a forester? Probably very important, right? I think maybe I grew too many people, but then... I feel like I don't have enough people. It's hard to tell. And it keeps telling me to build more homes. <laughs> like, we pla placed this hospitium a long time ago. Oh, so everyone, remember to click that link, check this out on Steam. I think the free demo might be live. Can anyone confirm if the free demo is live right now? If not, it will be soon. And if you're watching on YouTube, it is available now. Uh, for the first week. <laughs> okay, we are now housing 100 people. Beyond that, I'm not too concerned. Okay, hold on. We got more stone. Um, we got more wood, so what I want to do is I want to build more, like, two more, we got like six, we got one, two, three, four, five, and I want one here as well, one more here rather. Okay, and then... If possible, I want to plan a series temple. Oh, this thing's blocking it there. Could place it there, but that won't be on the road. I don't know if it'll work. I could just place it here, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Good, and I don't know if we need this road connected, but sure. Okay, so the Ceres Temple will just keep Ceres happy. This will get us more stone, but we really need... Show list. The Hunter's Hut needs to be deprioritized. Um, the Quarry can also be deprioritized, but above the Hunter's Hut. I want the Archer Towers down first. Small Temple of Ceres. And be at the bottom. Okay. So we really need... Uh, if I go to... No. Priorities. Close this. Is there a Builder? Let's set Builder as the top priority right now. Above everything else. Three months, maybe we can get things set up. Maybe. <laughs> like, we'll have six towers on each side. We have one, two... We had...
three towers here. So we'll have twice as many towers as the defense on this side. If we can get six towers up on each side. These are just the humans as well. Imagine when the Hydra shows up. <laughs> or the dragons. Oh, the demo is live. Okay, thank you. So everyone, click the referral link. If you're on YouTube below, if you're on Twitch in the chat. Click the referral link just to let the sponsor know that you came from here and they just want you to try the free demo and give feedback. Have I triumphed over my foes yet? I've triumphed over a few, two waves of invasions. This next one's kind of scary though. I don't know if we'll be able to get our defenses up in time. Like we're trying to, to build this all up. We were starving for a while which was a bit of a problem. But we doubled our food, doubled our bricks, doubling our stone now. Um, I need to get a forester down because the trees are just getting a little bit far to cut. Like maybe if I deselect harvesting, we can free up some people for building. I, th I think there is a control for that. Gathering settings. One gatherer per tree. Right. So like every tree I mark, every four trees I mark, it assigns another gatherer. One gatherer per four rocks. So like if I have one to four rocks gathered, one person is assigned to it. Like, can I double up the number of people who can construct this. Like, this is how we can maybe speed up the construction. Because there's people idle, so when you like... See, so I can assign eight people to construct this one. Which is a bit much. But I've assigned four constructing people for each tower. We've got two months till they show up. Who knows if we'll construct this in time. There's four workers per tower right now. And we still have five people idling. So like I could assign even more people to these constructions. Like, we could assign six. Like, we have all these people. We should put them to work on the things we want them to work on. Okay, so there shouldn't be anyone idling because we've assigned up to six workers on each tower. And I've deprioritized people gathering trees. Like, there's even workers free enough to be working on all these other structures as well. This hunter's hut is set up. It might be destroyed in this invasion. Okay. Towers are coming along. Yes, good. Now we just need... People to become archers. Yes, good. I feel like I want to build more. Like eight per side. I fit one there. Yeah. Let's get eight per side. We've got the six down, though. We've got six per side, so that's twice as much defense compared to our last invasion, which we had three, see? And then they busted through. So we'll, we might be able to go up to eight before they arrive. It's two months before they arrive. And I feel a bit more confident. We have 23 free workers. So if 
the calculation is correct. For every four... Yeah, for every four trees I mark, it assigns another worker. Yeah, so you see that? I can look at the idle workers and then assign them to cut trees, right? We are... Oh, we've doubled our stone production. Good. A violent riot has erupted. Six people died. You know... That's... I, I only want a hundred people. Six people died and we're down to a hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one month for them to arrive. We may get our eighth towers up. Let's just assign infinite workers to these things. Up to eight workers per tower, because we got to rush them. Also, building is set to number one priority, so when I increase builders assigned here, it goes straight there. I think it takes them off of the tree cutting. I assume. Okay, serious Temple coming down so we can not get cursed again. It seems like our farms have cleared up. Food is still going up. Clay is still going down very slowly. Stone is still going down. Like, we need so much stone. Like, I actually need another... Another quarry, I think. Yeah, because the temple... The temples cost 10 stone per month to maintain. That's pretty pricey. A quarry produces 30 a month. So, we're producing 60 a month. 20 will be going to the temples. Uh, another 10 goes to the forum. Another five goes to the academia. Like, a, a lot of these maintenance costs really build up. Like, three wood and four bricks maintain the hospitiums. <laughs> my, my lack of knowledge of the maintenance costs. Two stone, two wood maintain each tower. <laughs> They're, they're eating stone and wood. Like, we're, we're really not producing enough. Like, a forest is gonna cost 45 wood. Okay. So... Yeah, let's... Let's get to cutting all these trees. We're gonna need... More quarries as well which costs 55 wood like i assume if you mothball towers you can toggle on and off a building to free up workers top production and upkeep so i should be toggling these off if i turn these towers off Because I didn't realize, like, I'm not researching anything right now. I should disable the academia so they stop consuming resources. And I should own that. They're, they're prob. Do you think there's a button to enable and disable all towers at once? Yeah, there. Enable all, disable all. The button's right there. <laughs> this this is like emperor. Okay. They're showing up. They are splitting! Okay, that's actually good. I didn't realize... Towers had maintenance costs. And that's where all our resources have been going this whole time. <laughs> Just maintaining towers. Here they come. I may want to enable everything. Is there a hotkey for this? So if I enable all, how fast do they turn on? Because it takes time for people to, to walk over. So we've got eight towers on each side. So some over here. So most are over on this side. 
this hunter's hut may be completely destroyed. So I gotta check after this if I disable all. Okay, tower's manned pretty quick. This one's still not quite manned. So you want to like start manning them a month or two before the invasion happens. Come on, aim better. Okay, some split up over there. That's actually good as well. The more they split up between the two, that means we, we could have effectively 16 towers defending this time. All right, there we go. Yes. That feels way more effective. We did it. Death. So now I go here and disable all towers. You see, three stone, three wood. Things have been costing. We're now gaining stone. But yeah, we're losing wood because obviously we don't have any regular wood production. Is there something, like, I'm gonna build this forester. Around the back. I'm gonna build this. And... Set zone? Like, just around the back there. Let's see how the forester works, because I don't think there's a woodcutter? I feel like there should be a woodcutter or something. Someone died working at the quarry? Oh, it's okay. As long as we're floating around a hundred people, that's good. So in terms of... Yeah, so now stone goes up. Uh, we can increase our clay production as well. To keep make sure our bricks go. Oh, so when things are disabled, they just turn black like this. Jupiter is pleased. Production blessing. Okay. Yeah, so like our academia, we weren't researching researching things, but it still costs 10 wood, 5 stone, and 10 bricks per month. That's why. I think, like, really increasing the number of builders. Yeah, now that I'm learning these mechanics, we can speed things up a little bit. Like, increasing the number of builders. I could... What did I last research? A hospital? I wanted to get justice. So, let's... X. Enable the academia. 450 gold. Maybe something else. Insulation upgrade. Sheep farming. Advanced harvesting. Safe hunting. Brick archer towers. We are starting to get bricks now. Maybe brick walls. Let's research brick walls. Yeah, walls don't cost resources to maintain. They do get repaired over time. Wood walls are vulnerable to fire. This forester is now going to be planting trees here. Look at that, a tree! A tree grew! Perfect. Okay, Ceres Temple is coming through as well. Let's increase builders there. We have lots of free people. Because... Now that they're not at the archers. So if I check here. Um, are archers just always going to be prioritized? I guess. Oh, when there's no building happening, builder is not even on the list. I see. 
Okay, so small temple of Ceres is now down. Good. Uh, so our stone continues to grow. Now we are planting trees here. Good. That means we can stop walking out to go cut trees. This hunter is still going as well. 30 a month. Very nice. Okay. We finally managed to stabilize. We're researching brick walls. Interesting if the towers keep when disabled with zero maintenance resources. I th I think they're fine. Yeah, they're not they're not losing health. That makes more sense where we can now upgrade these things. But leave them disabled so they're not constantly eating stuff. Oh right, I wanted to get a treasury. We're getting all our resources down. Let's get our treasury down. Let's build this. And we can also extend this road there. Let's get a treasury down so we can actually start... Um... Collecting taxes. I also feel like we need another stockpile and another food storage. Just keep those going as well. We got plenty of spare workers, so let's just really increase the number of builders on these things. Yeah, like really quadrupling the number of builders. And like, I was like watching things build really slowly and I was like, why is it taking so long to build? You can just assign more builders. It normally limits it to like one or two builders per structure. So I could really like boost up the forestry as well. So if I put down like another one. I could have like two... Two forestry zones really going there. Okay, then with the treasury being built, we can... I can just make this like 20 builders. Because we, we have so many idle workers. Just really increase the number of builders. Oh, so the foresters do chop trees as well. Foresters are lumberjacks. See, that's different from other games I've played where you build a forester and a woodcutter. In this one, the forester is the woodcutter. I didn't know. <laughs> that makes sense. Now that I know, I should have built the forester a long time ago. Because now, see, my wood is just going up, no problem. Come on, 20 workers building the treasury. Clay is now going up as well, very nice. Grow trees, cut them down. Yeah, it makes sense. You don't need two structures to do it. I was like, where's the where's the woodcutter? Okay, so we can speed things along now. This is now gonna So tax rate I assume Crime, murder, two people died. I'm fine with that. So taxes Bountiful Harvest, Crop Resilience. Oh, works in cold weather. It is winter now, but it's leaving winter soon. But our food supply is fine. Let's do Bountiful Harvest. Okay, tax rate. You need a treasury to tax your people. A tax rate under normal circumstances in Roman Empire is 1% and sometimes can climb as high as 3% in situations such as war. Gold received from every house for every percent of taxation. So 1% gives 1 gold per domus, 2 for a hospitium, 6 for large hospitium, 3 for... Okay, so that's every 1%. So it is telling me that we should stick to 1% taxes. And that means our gold is now going up 
plus 20 a month. Okay, we now have a source of gold. I'm now probably making way too much wood. Like our storage is really stocking up here. But this then allows me to continue researching tech. We got brick walls, fire arrow, iron arrows. Let's check industry. We probably should get iron mining. We need 150 food. Oh, we're actually like, we're gaining food, but we're not stockpiling a lot of it. So I think we need to throw down more wheat farms. That's because it's winter, I think. Let's get down a couple more farms. Oh, we got... Now let's research... Iron mining. Carpenter. And make... Uses tools. Blacksmith. Okay, so this is where tools... Increase usable wood from cut down trees. I see. Okay. Aqueducts coming soon. <laughs> In case you're wondering, where's the aqueducts? They're coming soon. Um, okay. Arena. Arena safety. Oh, you can build an arena with no safety. I wanted justice. Right, that's 450 gold. Now that we're getting gold, we might be able to get that. Divine conquest. Allows you to organize and send out religious missions and quests to distant lands. This will unlock religious quest missions button in the religion panel. Okay. More farms coming down. Very nice. Get to farming more food. Make sure we're really stockpiled up on that. We've got like two blessings going at the same time. Very nice. So we're going to research iron mining because there's an iron deposit right there. Can I build a gate right into here? I can. Because if I wanted to... Oh, wait, no, you, you can't. You can build a gate over the wall. <laughs> because I guess there's a gap there. Otherwise, you gotta, you gotta make a hole. So if I wanted to... What's a hotkey? Delete. It's three tiles. Wood gate. Yeah. We have like 40 idle people. I misplaced that. It's not where I want it. Um, wood gate. There we go. We got 40 idle people, so we can just have plenty of workers on here. And then I can... Give a little room. I just want to secure this iron mine. To do that. Just so it's nice and protected. Now it seems like the enemies do show up with a target in mind. So like they ran right past this hunter's hut. They were like, that's not an important target. They're going for the houses and the resources. Research complete. Good. We can now... We can't afford the justice research yet. Triumphal arch costs 200 gold. Sheep farming costs 80 food. You know what? Let's unlock sheep farming. I can now also begin mining the iron. Right there. Nice and protected. Tucked away. Very good. I can preemptively throw down Draco. Oh, sorry, I just hit, I just punched the microphone. Draco, a fearsome Draco, the legendary Roman dragon has been disturbed by noise from the industries and activities of our settlement. With its mighty wings and fiery breath, this dragon can lay waste to buildings and defenses alike its arrival heralds destruction as it scorches the land and terrorizes your citizens. It's 5 meters tall, 350 kilos, 
298 health. 26 threat level. Scorpio Ballista. You gain food and cloth. It attacks with fire. My walls are made of wood! <laughs> I didn't think a fire-breathing thing would show up. In six months, from here... Okay, we're gonna need, like... A bunch of wood. Real quick. Yeah, these are auto- the ones planted by the forests are auto-marked for harvesting, I see. We need a bunch of wood. Um, cause... It's like, oh, get some ballistas. I'm like, in six months? I don't even have brick archer towers. <laughs> it's gonna be here in six months. <sighs> okay, okay. Um... Just need really get these built. Production blessing. Uh, I think production blessing because it gets us more wood. Even though the other one is faster construction, I don't think construction speed is a concern. I don't know if it has AOE. Like, should I be spreading out my towers? <sighs> At least brick walls will just be fired clay once again. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's gonna come here. I might have overbuilt towers here, but we know it's gonna hit this wall. So we just need as many towers as possible. Because I'm not getting any important tech. I'm researching sheep farming. <laughs> yeah, we needed to invest more in, in techs and stuff earlier, but I, I was only just sort of figuring out the mechanics recently. Like, I should have gotten foresters so long ago. I was thrown off by other games. That's my fault, where I thought, oh, well, other games work like this, so... Assign more builders. Assign more builders. Like, I don't know how many we're gonna need here. Like, it's just one of them. So, it says threat level 26, but like, that is like... So, a normal berserker is, um, two. So, threat level 26 is equivalent to 13... No, sorry, not berserkers, just the normal barbarians. It's- the threat level says it's as powerful as 13 barbarians, which we should be able to handle no problem. But that's if the threat level scales between humans and dragons. A five meter tall dragon is not that scary. It's not like the Hydra, which is just insanely large. But I don't want to lose to this. This is, this is basically like the first boss, isn't it? Yeah, the, the barbarians don't throw fire at my walls. They, they hit them with swords and maces and stuff. So I don't know if the ability is taken into account for the threat level. Okay, good. Yeah, two foresters feels good. I should have built- Look how many trees I cut walking out. I, I cut so many trees out into the wilderness. I just needed two foresters right here. <laughs> this whole time. Oh, five months. All we can do is build this stuff. Like, we got plenty of bricks. I really should have- Transitioned into brick tech earlier. Research the brick archer towers. 
Who knows, we'll get some. Might be a bit less susceptible to fire, you know? Oh, newly constructed ones aren't disable all. I know I'm missing a tower here, but I, I think we don't need that many there. I more expect it to hit here around the gate. Like it might hit this left side. And we are still cutting trees. Cut more trees. Marking more trees because of our setting. It's every four trees sends one worker to cut trees. So what I can actually do is I can go to gathering settings and lower the number of trees. So every two trees marked for gathering has one gatherer sent to it. You can really fine tune this to get exactly what you want. If you have like a lot of idle workers, you can fine tune that. Homeless citizen died. We might all die soon. So if I wanted to build brick archer tower, it costs how much to build? Does it even say until you get it? Damage one a shot. Reload 0.3. Reload basically twice as long. Range 35. Another 10 meters on the range. Damage per minute. 333. 200. Okay. DPM does help. It's summer. Bountiful harvest. Okay. Maybe we could get some brick towers down. Maybe. We haven't even gotten this iron mine down. It's fine. That's not quite the priority. Disable all. We want to enable them all when there's like one or two months left. I mean, this is quite a good number of towers, and we do have our inner defenses as well. Research complete. Pause the game. Brick Archer Tower. You think it's got range? Let's increase the builders significantly on each one. Let's then free up more people by increasing the number of trees being gathered per like one gatherer per ten trees. It's fine. Let's reduce builders on the iron mine. So one idle worker means we're building this as fast as possible. Three months until they show up. I've set a lot of builders, like eight builders per tower. I built one, two, three, four, five. So eight times five people are working on, is that 40 people? Are just building these brick archer towers. We're rushing them. We might be able to get them up. It's two months remaining. I don't want to activate the towers quite yet because it'll slow down the building. Yeah, they have to go out. Yeah, they they see they bring resources out to build things. Can't the wooden tower be upgraded? They can be, but I've only got sharp stone arrows, which I guess is better than nothing. Uh, some upgrades. 
Okay, the brick towers should be built okay. But when it's one month remaining, I gotta start manning these towers. Brick towers. But I made a brick. <laughs> that is true. We got a brick tower. So we can upgrade these as well with sharp stone arrows. So it makes more sense to upgrade the brick towers with sharp stone arrows. I can now activate these towers because I need these to be activated first, plus these, just in case. Okay. So I'm upgrading the... Yeah. Okay. I am short 15 stone for that. I'm currently losing stone because... Yeah, we're just trying to maintain everything. Uh, I really need a bunch of stone. Can I... Really just do this. I have lots of free people, so let's go to gathering settings. Let's... Get it so one rock is gathered by one person. Okay. So I'm sending one person out to grab one rock and bring it back. And I'm not activating the towers on the inside because I don't think we can maintain it. Because it costs three stone, two stone per month. And you can see it's a down arrow, so we just need an influx of stone right now. I could disable the temples to save some stone. I could disable the forum to save some stone. I can disable the academia to save some stone. Oh, can I not disable the forum? You can't disable the forum. Uh, I could disable the town guard to save two stone a month. Doesn't save much though, I think. Temples are off. Treasury? Does this have... No. That doesn't have maintenance cost. Okay. Our uh, outer defenses are set up. Okay, one gatherer per one rock. They're all out here grabbing rocks. Look at them. Every rock has its person. <laughs> Bring me rocks. Okay, it's gonna be here in one month. I probably could have activated the towers a bit later. You really need like a lot of rocks. Like, I need another quarry for stone, really. Why not? Can't place it there either. Yeah, a stone spawn is a bit weird. I need, like, this. Okay. It's gonna be here. I don't know if the dragon will kill the people who are out here, but good luck! <laughs> okay, we're grabbing in a bunch of stone, so I'm gonna activate this tower. I'm gonna activate this tower, this tower. I'm being selective about the tower. I don't think we need to activate these towers on the back. Ceres is disappointed, Jupiter's disappointed. Let's activate this before we get cursed. 
Because we did bring in a whole bunch of stone. Which should last us this dragon attack. Oh. Could try to get a scorpion ballista. I mean, it would have been... Maybe... This one needs a blacksmith, but this one costs 500 gold. <laughs> it's here. Wait, no, it says imminent. Is that it? It's flying? Okay, it does look like a smaller dragon, but it's flying. Cobalt strike, welcome. We're trying to hold off the first boss attack. Look at that coming in through the mist. All right, towers. Hope you do okay. It's a dragon. What do you expect? I don't know. Maybe like a walking dragon. I don't know how Romans depicted dragons. We got stone towers. We should be fine. We should be fine. It's a small dragon. It's a five meter dragon. That's pretty small considering dragons. It's got 300 health, though. Oh. It's flying. Enable all. <laughs> it's flying! The wall doesn't matter! <laughs> oh, no. We might not be fine. <sighs> of course it's flying, so the wall doesn't matter. Well, good luck. <laughs> we might survive, but it's this is gonna be a pretty hefty hit. This is like the dragon, the angel of death in Populous the Beginning. Yes, fly through here. Is it going for... This person's already marked for death. Plague! What good timing. Come on. Bring it down! Bring it down! We don't have any towers back here. Yeah, a settlement can hit it a bit. My forester. Okay. I mean, there's not much I can do, really. It's at 10 health. We're gonna get it. Plus two half. <sighs> it just it just face planted into the ground there, huh? Disable all. That does okay. <sighs> Rebuild. 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 Not enough wood. Give me an influx of wood. Uh, let's send two people out per tree. And we're having plague. Well, we managed to defeat the first boss in Roman Triumph the free demo. If you'd like to try the free demo yourself, just click the link, go check it out on Steam. There's this free demo for one week and they want to just get your feedback. That's what this whole sponsorship is. They just want people to try the free demo. If every single one of you could just click the link, 
in chat or down below. There it is. Um, thank you so much for clicking that link. Very much appreciated. Encourage the sponsors to come back, especially when they're sponsoring a free demo. You couldn't spend money if you wanted to. Just click the link, try the free demo, give them your feedback. They're looking to release this game in the first half of 2025. And honestly, it's pretty solid. Like, if this was an early access game, I think it would get good reviews on Steam, right? Like, we didn't encounter many bugs at all. There's like, there's the missing two times speed button up in the top left. Uh, the smoke is, uh, is slightly misaligned from the chimneys. It's like slightly too much to the front. <laughs> it should be like there. <laughs> like what? The, the, like the content is there and it, it's pretty stable. Performance is good as well. I mean, like I'm streaming recording at max graphics, a couple stutters here and there. Options menu has rebindable keys and good graphics settings and options. Like everything is there. Like if this was an early access game, I don't think many people would be complaining, right? But this is a free demo. Free demo. So thank you so much to Roman Triumph for sponsoring us today. And it's an ancient Roman city builder, leaning mythological, and they just want you to try a free demo. It's the perfect, it's the perfect uh, setup for us here. <laughs> Misaligned smoke is the biggest problem. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not the biggest problem, but I mean, like, there's probably some balance issues. And also keep in mind, I'm playing on easy. So if you want a proper challenge, there is. There's even multiple game modes. There's like no human invasions and no mythological invasions as an option if you just want to build, right? That's also a thing. Um, otherwise, yeah, I mean like, the, also keep in mind, performance is good on my setup. Free demo, it really depends on your setup. That's why they're doing a free demo. Catch the problems early, right? It seems like we're dying of plague. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed this. Please do click the link and just try the free demo. If you find problems or complaints, let them know. They'll fix it. That's what this whole thing's about. Misaligned smoke. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Game breaker. <laughs> it's like slightly too far to the front. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's got some interesting things. Like it's not a historical ancient Roman city builder. It's a mythological one. And that alone is, it's sort of, you know how Caesar 3 is more historical, but then you had Zeus, which is Greek mythology. This is like banished plus Zeus, but it's Roman. And that I think has quite a bit of appeal. So yeah, go try it out. Find the problems, let them know. They want feedback. There's multiple tech trees, resources to gather. All this stuff seems to be simulating God effects. And God Happiness is in there, a lot of tabs. Like, content-wise, it, it seems to mostly be there. Production lesson. Oh. Your OCD is killing me here? What, like, all the people dying? Yeah, well... <laughs> they'll have to live with it! <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining. Hope you enjoy this game as well, and I'll see you in the next video.